in this video we'll try to understand what is the meaning of prop cantilever beam and how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of prop cantilever beam so as shown over here we are having a cantilever beam carrying a central point load w total span length is l now in this particular case Now in this particular case, the cantilever is supported at the free end and this R is a support reaction. So such beam is known as the prop cantilever beam. In our regular cantilever, we are not supporting the free end. Now to solve this particular example, correct, we have to understand the concept of the slope and deflection over here. So first we'll visualize this particular arrangement as a simply a cantilever beam carrying the point load that is w and because of that whatever the deflection that will take place at point b is given by this particular formula so the formula for this is w a cube upon 3 e i plus w a square upon 2 e i into b in this particular case a is l by 2 and b is equal to l by 2 in the next case we'll assume that this cantilever is carrying the upward reaction that is r and because of that particular upward reaction whatever the deflection that will take place is given by it is the case of cantilever beam carrying the upward load so in that particular case the reaction is given by r l cube upon 3 e i as shown over here now as you can see over here the deflection of this particular point b is zero so we can say that the downward deflection which is caused due to this load w must be equal to the upward deflection that is caused due to this reaction r using this condition we can easily find out the value of r and then once we know that particular value of r we can easily draw shear force and bending moment diagram so let us try to understand how to find out the reaction at this support that is r So here we have drawn the same diagram and now as we have seen earlier that the downward deflection of B due to the load W is nothing but it must be equal to the upward deflection which is caused because of the reaction R at point B. So as you can see over here, we have shown the reaction R at the free end. And we know that the formula just now we have seen that the downward deflection is given by W A Q upon 3 E I plus W A square upon 2 E I into B and that is equal to R L Q upon 3 E I. Now substitute the values of A and B. So W upon 3 E I we will keep it as it is. In place of A we can substitute L by 2. So this is L by 2 and cube of that plus W upon 2 E I and in place of A it is L by 2 and in place of B also it is L by 2. Now let us simplify further. So this is W upon 3 e i this term as it is this is l cube upon 8 plus w upon 2 e i as it is this is l square by 4 into l by 2 and that must be equal to r l cube upon 3 e i so this is w L cube upon 24 E I 3 into 8 that is 24 plus W L cube divided by 4 into 2 that is 8 into 2 that is 16 E I and that will be equal to R L cube divided by 
3e i now take this w we can take w l cube also common so w l cube upon e i we have taken common so it will be only 1 by 24 plus 1 by 16 that will remain inside the bracket now we can cancel out this l cube upon e i term from both the sides so we are left with w into bracket 1 by 24 plus 1 by 16 is equal to r by 3 or we can say that this is 3w and 1 by 24 plus 1 by 16 that value is nothing but 5 by 48 or we can say that it will be nothing but 5w by 16 so this is the value of reaction r Now we have to find out the reaction RA in this particular case. So once again, we'll draw the diagram over here. Now we'll apply the our basic condition of equilibrium summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. Upward forces they are considered as positive and downward negative. So RA is positive, R is positive, W is negative. So we can say that RA is equal to W minus R. So that is 16W minus 5W divided by 16 so that is nothing but 11 w upon 16 so this is the value of reaction at point a so let us write down those values so r we have already calculated so value of r is 5 w by 16 now we have to draw the shear force diagram for that the conventions that we'll assume is for cantilever beam upward negative and downward positive once again, we'll draw this diagram. The value of, so for shear force at point B, we have to start from right and we have to go towards left. So shear force at B is nothing but R as shown over here. And this value of R is 5W divided by 16. Value of RA is 11W divided by 16. Now, as it is acting in the upward direction and we have assumed upward negative, so this is minus 5w divided by 16. Similarly, shear force at just right of the C, C right, as there is no force that is acting between B and C, it will be same value. Exactly at C, there is a downward acting point load of W. And we have assumed the downward loads as positive. So it is minus 5w by 16 plus w. In other words, this is 11w divided by 16. Again, from C to A, there is no other force that is acting. So the shear force will remain same. And we can draw the shear force diagram. This is the baseline at B it is minus 5w by 16 so it is below the baseline up to C right it will remain the same exactly at C that value is changing so this is 5w by 16 but exactly at point C it is 11w so this is and it is remaining same from C to A and those values are positive so it is 11 W upon 16 at point C exactly at point C and at point A also it is 11 by 16 and that is confirmed because RA we have already calculated as 11 W upon 16 now let us see how to draw the bending moment diagram so first we have to make the bending moment calculation the conventions are clockwise negative and anti-clockwise positive. So bending moment at point B will be zero because it is the free end. Then bending moment at point C. So consider all the forces on the right hand side of C. So this is the force 
r multiplied by l by 2 is the perpendicular distance and it is producing and it is producing the anti clockwise moment so it is positive so it is 5 w l by 32 similarly we have to find out bending moment at point a again consider all the forces which are present on the right hand side of a so on the right hand side of a two forces are there one is reaction r and perpendicular distance from this r up to this is l and it is anti clockwise so it is positive and this w is producing clockwise moment and perpendicular distance is l by 2 so minus w into l by 2 substitute the value of r we know that r is 5w by 16 into l minus w l by 2 now we can take w l common from this so it is 5 by 16 minus 1 by 2 so ultimately we will get the value of bending moment at a as minus 3 by 16 into w l and using those values we can draw the bending moment diagram also so at point b the bending moment value is 0 at point c it is 5 w l by 32 so that point you can locate over here on the positive side and at point a it is minus 3 by 16 so it is 3 by 16 wl on the negative sign or below the baseline and then just join, join these particular points so that we can easily get the bending moment diagram now let us see this shear force and bending moment diagram in the actual animation form also so this is the point of contrafracture where the bending moment diagram is changing its sign from positive to negative so as we have already calculated r is 5 by 16 so the shear force diagram we can draw which we have already drawn but now see it in the animation form shear force at b is 5 by 16 just at right of c it is 5 by 16 exactly at c it is 11 by 16 w and at point a it is 11 by 16 w so in this way it is a shear force diagram similarly we can draw the bending moment diagram also for the same bending moment at point b it is 0 then bending moment at point c it is 5 by 32 wl and bending moment at a it is minus 3 by 16 wl so in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of prop cantilever bending